couple of decades ago, it was pretty radical to say we're going to make part of the ocean a national park. But in 2002, Victoria made history by doing just that. 13 highly protected marine national parks and 11 marine sanctuaries were created across Victoria's magnificent coastline. It was such a huge achievement. The southern coastline is home to more than 12,000 marine animals and plants and some of the most unique and diverse habitats in the world. 20 years since they were created, our marine national parks continue to safeguard healthy ecosystems from overfishing and marine pests. I feel so lucky to be part of this work. Aboriginal people have lived across Victoria for thousands of years. Stories from traditional owners continue to pass on knowledge about using and caring for these special places. These stories describe sustainably managed systems according to traditional laws and customs. The marine national parks in Victoria are protecting a huge range of ecosystems, from the water column to seagrass meadows and sponge gardens. They're just like your national parks on the land, so everything in them is protected, from the rocks to the shells, to the fish that swim within them. They're protecting everything we know, but also everything we don't know. These no-take zones are really important because everything has a purpose in nature. Something like a shell, which although it might look nice on your shelf, could be the home of a hermit crab in the future. More than 650 species of fish are found in Victoria and over 70% of these fish are unique to Southern Australian waters, meaning they're not found anywhere else on Earth. Our ocean is a huge system filled with many supporting ecosystems. Healthy marine ecosystems and biodiversity are vital for our planet and help to clean water, absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, as well as make food that many people rely on. The systems are connected in a way we can't fully predict. We don't know how losing a species could adversely impact the entire ecosystem. Protected areas like Victoria's Marine National Park system promote diversity by creating refuges for marine life that help to increase species abundance and protect areas from habitat loss. A healthy system is a resilient system. The marine national parks and sanctuaries don't just protect their ecological values, but also social values. It allows us to get out and recreate, whether that's scuba diving, snorkeling, kayaking. These are such special places and whether you're on the surface or below the water, they're protected for us to enjoy. The work that we do is pretty fantastic. We get to get in the water, do regular monitoring programs to make sure that we understand what's happening in our parks. This has enabled us to track the effectiveness of protection for many key species. We have reduced the risk of marine pests through engaging stakeholders in the Check Clean Dry campaign. Although Parks Victoria is the governing body, there are so many more pieces of the puzzle in management of marine national parks and sanctuaries. We partner with government, researchers, agencies, community partners and volunteers to better manage these vast blue spaces. One of our most important achievements is that we've created detailed habitat mapping for all of our 24 marine national parks and sanctuaries. We've recorded new habitats that weren't first known to science and significant improvements in the way they are managed and cared for. Even though we've had success over the last 20 years in marine park management, we're also facing some challenges. Climate change is a threat to our oceans, and this comes in the form of warming oceans, rising sea levels, and changing wind patterns and currents. We also have key threats to manage. And this includes things like marine invasive species, and even some of our native species becoming pests, as well as poor water quality and illegal fishing. We also need resources to maintain and improve the parks. These systems cover a huge area. We need help to monitor and care for these distinct places. 
Our coasts are incredible. I still remember my first time diving in Victoria and was just blown away by the diversity of life. What we're doing is essential. We're really making a huge difference to the ecosystems here and as Victorians, we should be proud to have led the way in protecting these unique underwater worlds. In two decades, we've seen so much growth and our fieldwork and research is showing us just how much is at stake. In the face of new challenges and climate change, there's still more work to be done to ensure that these delicate ecosystems survive. Not just because these places offer us somewhere to enjoy or because they contribute to a healthy environment, but because they are important. They are beautiful and rare and full of life.